Good morning, everyone. It's Nicole Slater, and I'm just super happy that you're here, and and I am here, and today I brought my paintbrushes back from my home to my studio, so I have my, my favorite weapons, I call them, of choice, so happy I have my, I, it's kind of almost a security, an artist has their brushes that they love, and those are the ones I love, and I missed them yesterday, so I'm glad they're back. Um, today is number night, no, number 20 of the 30 days of 30 paintings. So I'm a busy artist and I really try to commit myself to things. And sometimes I get lost in all the other things, all the other forces, I call them, that pull me away from doing what I really love, which is the art and my painting. So I'm just happy that this challenge has allowed me to continue that and grow from this. And I'm just glad that you're here to witness my journey. And Okay, everyone, so I am getting started here, and today I am planning on keeping it pretty simple, at least that's my intentions right now. Um, I do love that purple and warm sky I did yesterday, so I'm going to go ahead and recreate, not recreate that same sky, but something with the blues and, and the purples again, and um, you know... It's funny, every day I say I'm going to go a little more contemporary and I'm afraid to even say that on camera now because I keep going a little bit more expressionistic. But in a way, the beauty, I thought about it, instead of being upset over that, what I've decided is I should be embracing that because it's showing that that is truly who I am, is what I'm painting now is who I am and that that's what I need to be honoring. So in a way, I think it's kind of a beautiful thing that's happening with me. Um... And I'm again today. I'm just kind of going to come in, and I don't know. I kind of want to lighten some things up a little bit, though. And there's nothing wrong with that. And still keep it um, expressionistic or impressionistic. You know, people describe things differently than I do sometimes. So I have to be um, aware that when I word things, sometimes it's not with how they're going to word it. So, so I have to sometimes stop myself and say, well, maybe that's not the right word. Um, you know, everyone has a different meaning of what contemporary or expressionistic is. So, um, okay, so I'm having fun. I'm just working in my whites, my purples, my blues, and um, again, pushing, pushing the paint around, manipulating, creating some movement. Um, I want this one to be kind of splashy. So like that okay so this is kind of where I am right now and now I'm going to go in and this time I'm gonna go into like a more of a black gray like a gray back here and again just to achieve that distance so I'm applying that in and giving myself the opportunity to know where where do I want the sky to end and to me that seems a little too high so now I know I want to bring this down more and I'll even add a little bit more purple down in here oops more purple not more red purple okay so the nice thing about that is it allowed me that opportunity and that's why sometimes I do the quick what I call personality layouts, so then that way I have an idea of where I want this to go, and that feels good to me. Okay, um, so my next stage is I'm, I'm again just going to lay in markings, and again I'm trying to somewhat keep this um, contemporary, or not contemporary again, expressionistic, just playing with my paint. But I do want to have the feeling of a landscape, so that's why I'm kind of going on working with my different planes, meaning different levels of the ground, and so that's what I'm doing here now. And I, I don't, um, again, I don't know why sometimes I put things in just so that you know. Um, it's a more intuitive thing we talked about than anything else for me. Um, my only takeaway on that would be that possibly what it is is that I kind of know what works as far as balance. 
I know I wanted to balance the weight of this back over here. So that might be um, one, one reason why I'm doing that. And again, sometimes I don't even know. <laughs> but all I know is I love to paint. Okay, so I'm working in some brights in here. I want to get some yellow. I, I like it when yellow and the purple merge together. So I want to go ahead and put that in now. There's something just really pretty about that. <clears throat> so how are you guys today? That's the question. I wish you could answer me. Um, I'm always curious, you know, are these videos helping you? Or are they boring? Um, I know they help me and and maybe I'm, I'm being uh, selfish by posting these. I do it for truly for you, but I also do it because I need to record this for my own knowledge so that I can refer back to someday and see the growth of my work and so that was partly why I started doing this I, I realized that I really didn't have anything to show and um, I think as an artist it helps and it and it um, it gives you something to grow by but it also gives you a landmark and it can showcase your hard work and 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 uh, achievements that way and so I'm starting to do that the other thing I'm starting to do is hold back a piece of my art each time I do a collection I'll keep one back I wasn't doing that before and a little FYI for you artists out there I would probably do that if anyone ever wanted to do say a retrospective of your show it'd be nice to have your work and and um, and that's why I started keeping some of my pieces back um, yeah, this is fun. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Liking this. Not sure. Maybe it's, I don't know, kind of beachy or something. I don't know. Or wetlands, maybe. So everyone sees something different, and that's the other thing what I like about art is um, everyone looks at the world a little differently and uniquely and... Um, as long as we're open to that idea and 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 evaluate their views as far as standing back and really taking it in with an open mind it's kind of nice it opens up your your view on things a little bit and I think you become a better artist because of that too um, you know if you do the same thing over and over and and you don't grow from it it's really you're not you're not benefiting yourself you're not it's not helping you um, and sometimes it's sometimes it's hard to hear you know sometimes you don't want to hear their opinion or their um, but again their opinion is only their their thought of of what of the takeaway it's not it doesn't mean it's right or it doesn't mean that it's the only the only idea so as long as you and your mind keep that in the back of your head and realize that you know that's just one one idea um, then you're then you'll be that much stronger and better and yeah okay so I like this I'm not sure what I would call this landscape but I, I do really like it I think it's fun it's light it's um, keeping in key with my original intent was to keep it simple today and um, I put in a few little nuggets here and there and not do too much um, you know this is where I kind of just stand back and kind of critique my own work I, I literally look at it as an outsider and um, I recommend that to, to anyone who's um, doing art to, to, to also do that because if you just kind of try your best to look at it from a non biased opinion and just from an outsider looking in the takeaways are sometimes you know you can catch some mistakes that you you yourself were too heavily personally involved into your work so you didn't see it um, so what I like to do is I stand back and I kind of just evaluate things such as the scale the color palette you know what what was it what is it how does it feel to me when I look at it what is it trying to represent um, did I, did I, um, 
Does it look like I enjoyed it? Is it a uh, painting I would hang in my home? And not necessarily, that's not real important, I know, um, to some people. It is to me because I love my collectors and I want them to have a piece that they're going to enjoy. I've had a lot of artists say, well, I don't, I don't really care if anyone, you know, wants to put it in their house. But in reality, they kind of probably do because it's the only way you can really continue doing what you're doing unless you're really rich and you don't have to to work for a living then then yeah then you're kind of you kind of got it made um but as far as for me i you know this is my living this is this is how i i keep my uh love for the art going and help other artists so okay you guys thank you so much for being here and i know this was a quick video but um again i'm i it's kind of what i wanted today and and i hope that uh out of this even though it's small and I'll do a couple little things before I go but I mean before I leave for the day but as far as today's painting um, I think I achieved what I wanted I set out to keep it simple I I kept it a little bit lighter and um, kind of a, a little bit of a nondescript look um, so there's not a lot of um, not a lot of detail, but a lot of movement, a lot of emotions in it, I believe. Um, I feel like I could be there. I don't know where that is, and, and but I feel like I could. And again, this, I just, again, I'm putting in some of my little white nuggets I like to put in here. And I wouldn't say white, because they aren't white by the time I merge them, but the lighter areas to draw my eye back in here. And so that's about it. So again, thanks once again. You guys are great. I appreciate so much you being here. And if there's anything that you have questions on or if you'd like to see anything in particular in my next video, I would love to address some of that with you. And um, I will see you tomorrow on day number 21. Wow. All right. Cheers, you guys. Bye. Just finished my uh, 20, oh my goodness, it is uh, my 20th painting, and I'm so excited. That means I have 10 more left. Um, it went well today. I stuck with the plan, kept it simple, did a landscape with um, lots of texture and paint, and um, I don't know where this landscape came from. I come up with crazy things in this head of mine and have to get them out in art, I guess. So anyhow, as you can see, my, my wall over here is starting to get kind of... Um, big and so that's kind of cool um and of course i'll uh i'm thinking about maybe even putting some of these in a i don't know maybe doing a whole calendar with all these paintings and I'm, I'm not sure but i thought that would be kind of fun although there's 30 and so there's only 12 months i i would have to figure out which uh which 12 i'd want so anyway if you think that's a good idea let me know um takeaways for today takeaways were like i said um follow the plan um and it's okay if you don't um, I used a lighter palette today, lots of purple and yellow and um, blues, some greens. And just because it's not a landscape in a photo, it's okay. It's in my head and I wanted to do that. So I, again, I just uh, embraced my thinking and went for it. And I, again, I, I appreciate you so much. So not a lot of takeaways except for the fact that I just um, stuck with the plan. So, okay, 10 more to go, you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Bye.